What if we could inoculate the brain against brainwash? Every day, we see hundreds of posts online. Some inform you, many manipulate you. But what if your brain had a defense system? Kind of like antibodies, but for misinformation. Now here's the twist, it can. Inoculation theory exposes your brain to a mild version of misinformation, along with clear tips on how to spot information manipulation so that you can recognize and resist the real thing. So here's how it works. The first one is forewarning. When somebody tells you, heads up, someone's going to mess with your beliefs, you're going to be more critical, more alert. And the second one is pre-bunking. Here's where you're shown a weakened version of a manipulative argument and taught the tricks used to deceive you. Here's some common manipulation techniques to watch out for. First, emotional triggers. Content that's making you feel scared, angry, outraged, trick you into sharing without thinking. Here's an example. The WHO has brainwashed Sander, and now Sander's coming to wash your brains. The second one is incoherence. Messages that actually contradict themselves or make no logical sense but confuse you into believing them. Here's an illustrative example. Sander is totally incompetent. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Also, Sander is part of a secretive plot, highly complex, that controls and coordinates the information space. That's pretty impressive considered that I'm totally incompetent. Third, false dichotomies. You take a complex issue and you simplify it into two extreme choices. For example, either you're totally with me and all of my research, or you're against me and science in general. Fourth, scapegoating. When you blame a person or group unfairly to distract from the real issues. For example, why is there so much misinformation in the world? Well, it's because all of those Sanders, instead of doing scientific research, they're making silly videos for the WHO. The final one, ad hominem attacks. Attacking the person rather than the argument. For example, Sander van der Linden. That sounds like a fake name. I wouldn't believe anything he says. Instead of fighting every false claim, learn to spot the techniques behind him. That's how you build mental immunity. Pre-bunking is your brain's mental defense system. Use it, share it, strengthen it.